On the news tonight, Governor Saludo calls for a promotion of ecumenism to cement unity among Christians. Anambra Assembly Speaker Okafo extends felicitations to Archbishop Ibezim on 60th birthday. Bakers, one of another high can prizes of bread. Chad's military government signs peace deal with rebel groups. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround the maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good evening and welcome to the evening news on ABS television. My name is Priska Mwoko. The Cathedral Church of St. Faith Oka came alive in songs and praises as people from all walks of life gather to celebrate the Archbishop, Ecclesiastical Province of the Niger, and Bishop of Oka Diocese, the Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim. It was a Thanksgiving service for his 60th birthday, 28 years of marriage, 38 years in God's vineyard, 12 years of episcopacy, and 3 years of archiepiscopacy. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata takes the story from here. The service presided over by the Primate Church of Nigeria, Most Reverend Henry Ndokuba, and assisted by Archbishops and Bishops, attracted the Governor of Anambra, Professor Chukuma Soludo, and his Delta State counterpart, Senator Ifani Okowa, and many other dignitaries. Delivering the sermon, Primate Ndokuba, who told the congregation to hold on to God, described the celebrant as a strategist and caring prelate who builds relationship with people while he extolled the efforts of Governor Soludo in restoring peace and sanity in Anambra and enjoyed everyone to join hands in the fight against insecurity. We shall still hold on to the living God. Even if your faith is as small as the mustard seed, even if it is just to say our Father who art in heaven, say it with all your heart and believe God. Come with expectation, come in faith, trust him, and as we gather to give him praise, as we come before the Lord, dance unto him and give glory and honor unto him. And as we praise him, his hand will be at war to help us. Congratulating the celebrant on his milestone achievements. Governor Soludo called for continuous promotion of ecumenism among Christians as one body in Christ and reaffirmed his resolve to restore sanity, law and order in the state. Tata, even now we are here in your address for to join in the prayers of the others. You pray for all of us. Today is for us to pray for you and to wish you more grace and more grace than the private has said. We pray for you for more graces, ecumenism. Christians, we must come together. I'm truly glad I'm here today, coming here today, and seeing the love of the people for you. I'm truly very, very pleased. But I know that because we're a prayer of man, it is well with this province, it is well with this dance. Also felicitating with the celebrant, former senator that represented Anambra Central, Senator Victor Ume, the special assistant to Archbishop Ibezim on special orientation and political matters, Sapat Ojiako and Mr. Josiah Ifedi from Mbuku described him as a father with vision who has touched the life of many and brought unprecedented development in the diocese, praying God to give him more years. Responding, Archbishop Ibezim thanked everyone who celebrated with him and his family and prayed God to reward them abundantly. Among dignitaries at the event was the managing director of the ABS, Mr. Shido Obidiobu. Cutting of birthday cake and special rendition from the choir featured at the event. Emmanuel Shibata reporting for ABS News. Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Saludo has asked women to use the forthcoming August meeting to lead the campaign to reinforce family values to build a better society. 
Governor Saludo stated this when he addressed heads of women organizations from the Catholic, Anglican and Pentecostal denominations during the meeting with his wife, Mrs. Noye Saludo, at Governor's Lodge, Amobia. Correspondent Daniel Aziwe reports. Speaking to the women, Governor Saludo said that the home is vulnerable each time mothers fail in their cardinal responsibilities. He asked them to use the forthcoming August meeting to kick off a campaign for taking back the homes and the society at large in the face of the current challenges facing the society. The governor said that while his administration will continue to do its best in building a livable and prosperous Anambra state, the Anambra should support the government to help it achieve the desired goals. This message, very very powerful, sir, is for us to take responsibility to take back our families. Yes, taking back our families. Because when we take back our families, they are not the aggregate, we take back the states. Not only the family will you it. Family first. And they get a family of them. On them. They get a full man, the many cases, or the trajectory in them goes largely. Said that the government has been able to cut down on excessive spending, especially on recurrent expenditures, with money accrued for the policy channeled into project implementations. The government also promised that its administration will embark on massive road construction once the rains stop. The home where you hold the power. And once the homes are fixed, then the society is fixed. That's what I'm thinking about. We don't believe that we can. Teachers who are schools without teachers, but I'm going through the process of recruitment in a very transparent manner, and we'll be recruiting at least 1,000 teachers. That will be in our know, hospitals without doctors and nurses. No, that will soon be over. But now we're recruiting doctors and nurses that will go back in the hospitals. From the Governor's Lodge, Amorbe, Daniel Ezigwe, ABS News. As a way to encourage Anambra women to go into organic agriculture, the wife of Governor of Anambra State, Mrs. Nonye Suludo, has promised to support anyone whose farm process are purely organic. Mrs. Suludo disclosed this while interacting with wives of members of Anambra State House of Assembly, Commissioners and Transition Committee Chairman at the Governor's Lodge, Amorbe. Again, Daniel Ezigwe takes the story from her. The governor's wife has been engaged in a series of meetings with women groups from different organizational backgrounds with the aim of urging them to take charge of their homes and communities, adopt healthy living practices, and to also get involved in safe and creative agriculture. Addressing the women, the governor's wife asked them to be mindful of what they consume, considering the proliferation of unhealthy and inorganic food products across the markets. She asked them to go organic full time and only eat what they have knowledge of their production procedures. Mrs. Oludo also promised to provide export support for any Anambra female farmer whose agricultural proceeds pass the organic assessments. While asking them to link up well with the women, especially those at the grassroots, the governor's wife asked them to always give their husbands solid support and teach their children ethical values of culture and morality. She also promised to have regular interface with them and with other women as well, stating that Anambra women have an important space in Governor Chukuma Saludo's plans. On her part, the Commissioner for Women and Social Welfare, Mrs. Ifi Obinabo, urged the women to take advantage of the entrepreneurial opportunities initiated by the state government through the Anambra Small Business Agency, ASBA. Commissioners' wives, wives of members of Anambra State House of Assembly, as well as those of the newly sworn in transition committee chairman, all attended the meeting. From the Governor's Lodge, Amorabia, Daniel Ezigwe, ABS News. 
The Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uche Okafo, has described the Archbishop of the Niger Province and Anglican Bishop of Okadasis, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, as a dedicated and evangelical prelate. And as good your message to Archbishop Ibezim on his 60th birthday, Right Honorable Okafo noted that Anglican prelate has over the years recorded an outstanding evangelical achievements evidence in the rapid growth and development of his province and diocese. The speaker when joined Archbishop Ibezim to continue to discharge his episcopal duties as a good shepherd, urged members of the diocese and province to join hands in advancing Christianity. He has told Governor Chukuma Saludo for his wonderful spirit of ecumenism, adding that the governor has succeeded in creating mutual understanding among the friendly church denominations in the state. Right Honorable Lukafo, while wishing Archbishop Ibeizi more eventful years ahead, prayed God to continue to empower him and advance his archiepiscopate and diocese. Anna Brasted has been described as a home for hospitality, culture and entertainment for people of goodwill. The Commissioner for Culture, Entertainment and Tourism, Mr. Don Onyinji, said that those were interacting with call members at the orientation camp in Omoawolo, Mbawu, Okasad, local government area. Details of this story from here. The commissioner described Governor Chuku Masoludo as an economist who has served with international organizations as well as advisor to former president of Nigeria. Mr. Onyenji emphasized that based on the track records of Professor Chuku Masoludo, the Anambra collectively vote him as governor. The commissioner intimidated them about the efforts of the governor towards making Anambra state a livable, smart, mega and prosperous city. On her part, the state coordinator of the National Youth Service Club, Mrs. Ekene Iruma, encouraged core members to ensure they integrate with their host communities to enable them learn the culture and language of the people for easy socialization. Mrs. Iruma promised to activate the Community Welfare Committee to help address core members' welfare in various communities in the state. The state coordinator promised to partner the Anambra state government towards achieving Governor Soludo's agenda of turning Anambra state into a livable mega city. Still to come on the news tonight, bakers, one of another hike in prices of bread. Chad's military government signs peace deal with rebel groups. Here is this special message. The Anambra cannot allow criminal elements to hold the state and the people to ransom. The need generously to the Anambra State Security Trust Fund, which has been set up to raise money for combating insecurity in the state. The news returns after this timeout. Stay tuned. Traveling? You deserve the absolute best. Enjoy maximum comfort in our new buses with more legroom, reclinable seats, onboard entertainment, and much more. Pick your preferred seat, choose your preferred shadow, travel on your terms. Ready for a premium ride driven by the best captains out there? Book now. You welcome back to the news. Bakers under the ages of the Premium Bread Makers Association of Nigeria have one of yet another hike in prices of bread due to the skyrocketing cost of baking materials. The president of the association, Emmanuel Onwara, disclosed this to newsmen, stated that the recent developments in the global marketplace had not translated into a better operating environment for local bakers. The planned hike follows a recent strike action by PBAN, as well as the Association of Master Bakers and Caterers of Nigeria, which culminated in a 15% hike in bread prices barely two weeks ago. According to Onwara, many PBAN members had been forced to shut down their business operations this year due to the skyrocketing cost of doing business. Onwara also urged the federal government to open up a forex window for industry players, particularly the floor millers. This is said was significantly addressed in discriminating increase in the prices of floor in the markets. 
Honorable state governments, we are not reliant on the ongoing efforts to eliminate human trafficking. We now employ all fraudulent means, including organizing fake interviews for non-existing overseas training for unsuspecting persons as a way of luring victims into their nefarious activities. The State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Sylvia Chika Ifemeje, stated this during the opening ceremony of a two-day coordination meeting for members of Anambra State Tax Force in Human Trafficking at Jeremy Doji State Secretariat Complex in Oka. Details of this report from here. According to the commissioner, her office is putting all necessary measures to ensure that the perpetrators of the dastardly act called human trafficking face the consequences of their actions. In her speech, the Director General of National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi, represented by the Zunul Commander of NAPTIP, Mrs. Neka Aje, who commended members of the State Tax Force for the ongoing campaign to eliminate and eradicate the menace called human trafficking, while appealing to participants to put into use the knowledge acquired during the coordinated meeting. In her address, the Chief of Mission International Organization for Migration, represented by the Project Assistant, Ms. Blessing Omojo, who noted that human trafficking is a global concern that requires partnership and synergy with relevant stakeholders. According to her, the International Organization for Migration will continue to provide technical support to the state tax force for the attainment of their objective. The tax force members are developing a work plan for use in the remaining months of the year and next year if finally approved. The World Day Against Human Trafficking was observed in the state during which a sensitization program was held at a Kenibu about human trafficking and other related crimes, led by the Permanent Secretary Ministry of Justice, Mrs. Ngozi Iwuno. As part of activities marking the day, a road walk coordinated by the Commissioner for Women Affairs, Mrs. Ifio Binabo, and the State Commander of NAPTIP, Mrs. Ibadin Judy Chuku, took place. Chad's military government has signed a peace deal with more than 40 opposition groups to launch a national reconciliation dialogue, but a Central African country's Mirabel group refused to take part. Under the accord signed in the Qatari capital Doha, talks aimed at paving the way for a presidential election will start on August 20. Since March, Qatar has been mediating between opposition groups and the military government of Muhammad Idris Debi Ibno, a general who seized power after his father died in a battle with rebels last year. But a front for change and concord in Chad, the main rebel group said it would not sign the deal, despite last-minute effort by Qatar's mediators. In a statement released in Doha before the deal was signed, Fat said it rejects the accord that will put to signatories. He added that the participants in the national dialogue would not be treated equally and demanded a new committee be set up to organize the talks, as well as the release of rebel prisoners from government prisons. President Muhammad Buhari has described the performance of the Nigerian athletes who brought mouths to his citizens as a special pattern gift during the 22nd Commonwealth Games in Birmingham 2022. Buhari commended the display of the 94 worthy ambassadors that proudly flew the Nigerian flag in high sports and events and for those exciting moments, breaking world and national and games record as well as achieving personal best in their career, representing the country gloriously in the competition. The president had joined millions of other sport-loving Nigerians who was of the colorful and spectacular moments in the 11-day competition, which had no fewer than 5,000 athletes representing 72 nations and territories competing in 280 medal events. He expressed confidence that with 35 medals, including 12 gold, 9 silver and 14 bronze, have estimated already in the late evening of the 10th day of the Games and more medals likely for the country on the last day, thanking the athletes for competing among the best in the world. President Buhari also lauded the coaching crew and team officials with a passion for sports development in the country, assuring them that history will remember them for all their contributions to making the nation's athletes shine in the international arena. Remember, you can follow news and program on ABS on many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page. It is at ABS Radio Television. 
Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television or can follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website. It's www.absradiotv.com. To end the news, a recap of the main points. Governor Saludo has called for promotion of ecumenism to cement unity among Christians. Anambra Assembly Speaker Rakafo has extended felicitation to Archbishop Ibezim on his 60th birthday. Baker is a wonder of another hike in prices of bread. Chad's military government has signed a peace deal with rebel groups. Here is this special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total to around the maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that's it on the evening news at this time on ABS television. Thanks for watching. My name is Priska Moko. Good evening and have a wonderful night rest. <laughs>